Give me a shout out when you call on God. Bring the guns out when it's time for war. I want a shout out. She say, oh my God, if only, if only, if you knew it's no facade. Give me a shout out when you call on God. Bring the guns out when it's time for war. I want a shout out. She say, oh. Cat is out the bag now. The post all fight is off. He got injured in, he got injured in sparring. Oh, he got, well, I don't know what he got injured in, but he, he messed up his thumb or something like that. But they replaced him with Julius. Und they replaced him with Julius Undongo. It's still March night for the belt. So we still working. We just changed up spawn parts. That's it. Ain't nothing changed. Still in the gym. Still working. Doing all the same shit. So it don't matter. Post all. I told me and my coach Bobby was running about two weeks ago. And I said, Bobby, look, post all not going to fight me. He thought it was gonna happen. I called it. I was like, man, post all night. I'm telling you, post all night gonna fight. He gonna get injured. Like some type of way, he gonna get injured. And sure enough, he didn't got injured in camp. I knew it was gonna happen. I called it. But you know, it is what it is. We still on for the um, the same date. Julius Andalgo. You know, he an ex champion. What's good? What's good, fight fans? This the God self love. Y'all know what it is, man. God's boxing corner i just heard word that victor posto will not be facing regis pro gray in the wbc title eliminator bout you know um allegedly he fractured his thumb in training camp so now they're gonna replace him with julius and dongo you know what i'm saying and as y'all just heard in the video regis pro gray sound like that he was confident that that was gonna happen anyway man so i think it's gonna be a better fight man um, just based off what Ndongo did after his loss to Terrence Crawford and what Posto did, you know, Ndongo, he made some promotional changes. He made some management changes. You know, he had uh, relocated and things like that. You know, it just seemed like that he taking his career very seriously after that loss, you know, but Posto, he had like a year layoff and then he came back against a tune up opponent and he damn near got his ass knocked out, man. So whatever was going on in that time that he wasn't, you know, um, active, shit, it obviously showed, you know what I'm saying? And um, I just think it's going to be a better fight, man. You know what I mean? Um, he don't go seem like he's taking his career seriously, you know. He got himself right back in line for another title shot. So, you know, it's going to be a good one, man. Um, Regis Pro Gray. He's a very, very good fighter, you know, young up and coming prospect. You know, this is his fight right here, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can you can talk shit about his resume, you know what I'm saying? But this is his fight right here to show and prove who he is. You know what I'm saying? And um, he actually fought a lot of good opponents. You know what I'm saying? He fought a lot of good opponents, man. Uh, his last opponent that he fought before this one was uh, Joel Diaz Jr. He was um 23 and 0 with 19 knockouts, man. Regis Prograde demolished this kid in two rounds. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's gonna be a good ass fight, man. It's definitely Regis Prograde's uh, best opponent on his resume. And I say it's probably Ndongo's second or third best, man. You know what I mean? Definitely Terrence Crawford is his best opponent, you know, no doubt. But Prograde, um, he a vicious body puncher, man. And I think he definitely go, man. I think I think he definitely gonna do that, man. That's that's what he has to do to to really get ahead in this fight, man. Because and don't go dangerous, man. He very very fucking dangerous, man. You know, uh, former unified world champion. You know what I'm saying? And um, Terrence Crawford, he laid out the game plan. You know, you gotta stay in the pocket with him. Don't go trade with him. Go to that fucking body and. With Pro Grade being such a good body puncher, I think that's exactly what we're gonna see, man. You know, but um, it's gonna be kind of hard because Julius and Dongo has a four inch reach advantage over Pro Grade. So he gonna have to work to really get on the inside, man. You know, he gonna have to be very cautious of Dongo's rangy power and things like that, man. 
You know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna be a good ass fight, man. And the WBC, they basically got a tournament style thing going on where they got Amir Imam going up against JC Ramirez. And then they got um, this fight with Pro Gray and Idango. So whoever wins these fights will face each other for the WBC 140 pound world title. So I like it, man. You know what I'm saying? 2018 of boxing is looking very, very wonderful. You know what I'm saying? But we gonna see, man. Definitely gonna see what Pro Gray gonna do. Gonna see what Idango gonna do. And uh, yeah, man, go ahead and hit that like button, comment, subscribe, share, voice your opinion. This is God's Boxing Corner. I am self-love. Peace.